It is the year 2023 and we are bringing CoffeeScript back from the dead. We're creating a full course on it right now. CoffeeScript is more functional than JavaScript and TypeScript. Everything's an expression in CoffeeScript. It only uses strict comparison with the double equals. You're in for a lot of fun. It's going to be better than TypeScript for what I think is a decent chunk of your projects where you just need to get some code written out, write it out well, and make sure things work. Let's get into it. In order to use CoffeeScript, we need to install Node.js because we're going to be using NPM from it and it needs to compile down to JavaScript. So go to nodejs.org and you're going to follow the installation instructions for your specific machine. Next, open yourself a terminal. If you're on Windows, probably run it as an administrator. The commands will be the same for everyone with the exception of Linux. You want to put sudo out in front. What follows sudo is the same for everyone. So we're going to say npm install dash dash global if I can spell it global coffee two F's coffee script like that hit enter let it install once it's done we can say coffee dash dash version to make sure that we've installed it here we can see coffee script version 2.7.0 perfect and if for some reason npm didn't install and you weren't able to use npm it said not found or something you can check if you have that too by doing npm version like that and it'll tell you and same with node you can say node version and that's just to make sure that you have everything that you need once you have those we're going to keep going You've got CoffeeScript installed. Now you want to create a new folder where we're going to make our project. In my case, I am in my tutorials folder and I called my folder We Love Coffee. Uh, and so I'm just going to CD into that folder. I'm going to run npm init and that's going to create a package.json for us. I should have hit npm init y and I wouldn't have had to click enter through all these steps. I'm just going to leave everything as is for now and just hit enter through all the defaults. It's all okay. Yes. If I clear it and do an ls, we can see we now have a package.json in our we love coffee folder, which is perfect. That's what we want. And if I want to just check and see what's in there, I can say cat coffee it lets me cat package spelled it wrong dot json and we can see there's my initial json setup now i want to open this folder in vs code so to do that i can just say code dot and we're going to open this folder in vs code now if you're watching this tutorial i'm going to assume you have a little bit of coding experience in any language doesn't matter uh, it's going to transfer very easily to this i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it hello dot coffee just like that see the little coffee mug that appears perfect and here I'm going to we're gonna write our first coffee script script so we're gonna say console dot log just like JavaScript but this time we don't have to use parentheses in coffee script it's a little more functional than that we just put a space and we put what we want to say so console dot log hello coffee like this perfect and I don't need semicolons on this and I also don't need parentheses right in JavaScript it would look like this console.log hello coffee in so this is the JavaScript version this is the coffee script version you can see it's a little cleaner easier to read there's just a space we don't need those parentheses we don't need the semicolon just really straightforward so let's save that let's open our terminal and now we're gonna say coffee and we're gonna say hello.coffee and this should compile and run it for us. Now we didn't actually create a compilation to JavaScript here. That's another step I'll show you in a bit. But for our purposes right now, we just wanna be able to run our coffee file, which we exactly what we did.